So for this project, you're going to need a relay board, and I'm using one of each type. This is just a regular relay board. It's got relays rated at 10 amps, and it'll control uh, 120 volt up to 240 volt devices. Yeah, 10 amps for both of those. And then I'm also using this solid state relay board, which they only, does it say on it? Two amps, so they're rated at uh, 120 or 240 volts up to two amps. And both of these boards uh, need a five volt power supply to control them. And then they have these pins here that I have connected on this one to the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. And um, I've got another Raspberry Pi here. I'm just going to use one in the project, but it's these pins here that are connect that will be connected to these pins over here. Uh, I'm using each relay will be wired to one of these outlets and I'm actually going to break off the tab on the neutral side there's this little tab here and that's going to get broken off so, so that each one of these will be able to be switched separately oh I'm sorry I'm going to break off the tab on the hot side and I'll keep the neutral tab that way it'll share a neutral and then all of the hot wires are going to be controlled at the relays. It'll make more sense once the whole thing's all together, but I'm breaking the tab so that each one of these, I'll have 16 separately controlled uh, outlets. And I did have, I built this earlier and was testing it with just a USB. Um, I just cut off a USB cable and used the red and the black for the five volts to power these relay boards. But I'm gonna try and get a dedicated power supply also, I thought about building it on this big board right here, but I changed my mind and decided to do it inside of this enclosure. So I've got a piece of wood back here that I'm going to build everything on, and then I'm going to set this piece of wood in here, and then I'm going to screw these boxes to the side like this, and then I'll knock out these holes and drill a hole in here, and then use this chase nipple to come through, uh, and then the wires will go through there. And uh, yeah, that's the project. And then I have these metal outlet covers. You could really do anything. I just had these, a lot of this stuff, including this box, uh, I just had laying around. That's why I'm doing it this way. But if I were to buy individual products for this project, I would probably do it a little bit differently. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is the board I'm using to put all of the circuitry on. And then I'm going to place this board inside of this enclosure here. And what I decided to do, I've got these little standoffs that are for like a computer motherboard. And I'm drilling holes. I'm just using a, I don't actually have a drill with me, a drill bit. So I'm using a little screw like this. I'm drilling the pilot hole with this drill. And then um, I'm just putting in the standoffs by hand into this hole here. And so that's going to set the board up uh, just a little bit away from the wood. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going through marking it with a pen where all these little holes are. Okay, I've got my standoffs all put on the board here. And one issue I had, I couldn't get the screw in this one here because it was going to make contact with this component, LED, right there. And um, I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I don't know if that's grounded, but I just, I'm just leaving it out. And then I also decided I was going to mount the Raspberry Pi on this board here, but to give more room, because there's going to be wires and everything routed all through this portion, I decided to put some standoffs on the inside of the case just like this, and then I will mount the Raspberry Pi on the inside of the case there. So I'll put this in here and see how it looks. Now I'm ready to put my boxes on that are gonna have the outlets inside of them, like this, more or less. And so, these have little knockouts. So I've decided I'm gonna knock out this hole here and this hole here, and I'm gonna drill through this box so that I can get into uh, access for wires into there. Okay, well I'm done with one bank of outlets. So what I've done, and this will be exactly how three of the banks will look, or yeah. 
So I've got a black wire coming off of every copper screw on the hot side, the right side, the smaller end of the outlet. Each one is just a separate wire, not connected to anything right now, and it's going to get tied into the relay board. The neutrals, I have one looping from one outlet to the other outlet. Then on this end, I just have an extra long uh, white wire. And on this end, I also have an extra long white wire. And what that, that's going to be is tying this box. This one's going to go over and provide neutral power for that box. This one's going to go across and provide neutral power for the box at the bottom. Then that one will tie in. So basically, there's a big chain of white wire connecting every uh, outlet. And then, and the tab's not broken there, so it's, it carries through to every single outlet. Then the blacks, the tab's broken, so every uh, copper screw is gonna have a black wire coming off of it, just going nowhere for the time being. And then I'm gonna drill the hole in this box, put them through there, and they will go into uh, the relay board. All right, so I've got my power coming in. I'll just plug this in, It'll, that'll bring power into this box, which this outlet's already wired up. And then I've got all of these uh, hot wires going to my relays. And I'm gonna put all those together along with this uh, black wire. And it's going to go right here on this screw. And that way the power will just come right straight through and stop at each relay because I've got them looped through. And I put two to this one and just one to this one because these two potentially could use more power. And then the neutrals are going to tie through. They're over right here on the other side. And they're going to tie through uh, to each box and all the outlets. So all the outlets will have neutrals all the way to the wall outlet and then the power stops at the relays. So the three that are coming to feed power to the relays are just held on with this wire nut right here. And this is gonna get onto that screw right there. And this red wire, the green wire, is, is from these Christmas tree lights. I don't know exactly what gauge it is, maybe 18 or 16, probably 18. And this red wire is probably more like 16 gauge. And it's off of a bad power supply that I had. I just cut these cables off and cut all the red ones off. The reds seem to be thicker than all the other ones. I think they are gauge thicker, so that's where the wire came from. Uh, and then these I just ordered. These actually have the pre-connectorized pins on them, so I ordered those on Amazon. They're for like the Raspberry Pi or anything that uses hooks on the pins. Okay, so I'm finally finished with this project. I didn't make a lot of videos towards the last part of it, so I apologize about that. But here's what the finished thing looks like. So I've got some lights already plugged in here. I've got the solid state relay board and the regular relay board. Everything is powered by these two 5 volt USB chargers, like a, just a regular uh, phone charger. And so this one is powering the Raspberry Pi right here via this blue cable. And this one actually, I just cut off a, a, a USB cable and then I use the red and the black wires and they're going over here to power this relay board and here to power this relay board. And then coming off the other side of these relays is just a black wire going to each of these outlets with those tabs broken. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 completely separate controllable outlets. And then these lower ones are controlled by the regular relays. The upper ones are controlled by the solid state relays. And the way the control works, right now they're all off. Move this over here so I keep, don't keep knocking it over. The way the control works, it comes off of these GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. So eight of them go over here, and eight of them go over here. What I've got, I'm using 16 total. These will all work. I can turn them on all at once, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm using 16 of the 17 available GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Then I'm connecting to the Raspberry Pi with this Ethernet cable. So I'm not using a, a monitor or, or uh, no USB devices are plugged in here. All right, so once everything's put together, we'll need some software to actually control the relay boards. And so um, once you've got PuTTY installed, um, you can SSH, or if you're using Linux or Mac, you can SSH into the Raspberry Pi. And let me just clear this out here. So I actually downloaded a bunch of code just to the downloads folder. And where I got this code was actually from um, this Instructables 
Raspberry Pi Christmas Tree Light Show. Um, so you can just search that on Google and find it. But on one of these steps here, it has this code for test.py. What you can actually do is just right click and go to uh, copy link location. Then you can just do a wget and then control shift v or control v. How do you paste it? Ah, just right click, I guess, on Windows. And uh, then it'll just download that right to the downloads folder. Raise that up so you can see it a little bit better. And then we go test.py. So I'll take just a second here, and then it will uh, run, and it should light up the LEDs. You can actually run this part before you even have the Christmas lights plugged in. Mine are plugged in now, but you can see the light is turning on on the LED on the uh, solid state relay board, and also each of the lights that are plugged in are lighting up as well. So that's just my top eight outlets. Uh, that's this video. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, check out some other videos and uh, keep an eye out for that one that I'll make about using the software. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.